Hello world, I'm here on a windy windswept hill and I am in front of Quesga El Carana, castle the, of Carana, the Carana, Carana. The last time I came here I made a couple of errors in describing what I could see so this time I will do my best to give you more accurate information. So as I stand here in front of El, uh, Keza El Carana, Carana Castle, it is actually a caravan CI, a caravan station, rather than a palace itself. And the standard layout is a square building with rooms around the sign and in the surrounding a well, usually in the middle. So uh, when we go in, hopefully we'll see something like that. Now the thing that I really got wrong the last time I visited here, these narrow slits on the side of the building, I assumed were arrow slits. But then once you go into the building, you can actually see that the height of them inside is not, not the same as other arrow slits, that the um, angle of the opening is very different, so you can't shoot left and right and straight ahead. So with more research, what I found out is this is a Venturi air holes. So Venturi basically means the air coming from different directions so that you've got a constant flow of air coming into the building. Before we actually head into the building itself, I'll just bring your attention to this magnificent artwork just over the doorway which has kind of symmetrical, I don't know, leaves, something of that nature. Then the other thing that when you look at this building, clearly it's had like a, um, uh, a stucco over the top of it. And you can see that the rocks have a different layered configuration. Coming up to this more decorative layer with the bricks at an alternate angle, at a tilt. And then the side, these towers to the side are on each corner of the building. And even the entrance to the Caravansiae, the castle itself, has this rounded feel to it. As you enter through the main doors, you come into this hallway and there are two rooms on either side. Very dark rooms. vaulted ceilings with those slits in the walls. It's actually quite cool physically in this space. Two basically matching chambers. So potentially, because it's close to the doorway, this may be where the um, goods were kept, the animals were kept. That's the second of those kind of like storage areas, just as you come through the main door. Hmm. There is no well. <clears throat> it's 
stairs going up. There was an inscription above one of the doorways that said that this was like 713, so an Umayyad. So let's go and have an explore. Smaller doorways. There we go. Hmm. So this is the storage area underneath the stairs. Now with having holes kind of on either side in a very similar, almost juxtaposed position would potentially tell me that something like some wood may have been strung across there. If it was like the foundation for the floor above, the um, height, the height of it, that's me, so I'm five seven, stretching up there. It's not going to be necessarily a very tall space. Let's just cruise into this room here. What I haven't noticed is any, um, any fireplaces. And you can see the two slits up there, which I, from the outside, would have assumed was arrow slits but they're actually ventilation holes. So when you're in this central courtyard area, what you can see on either side are corbels. Somewhere there, there's a corbel. Looking over onto this wall here, there's another corbel. And that would match with this corbel over here. So that would tell me that there would be an arch or a floor or something to give another layer to this space. Also with that groove running across there tells me that there was another layer covering in this space. So it might not necessarily have been a completely open space because it's a matching kind of a groove going right the way around the perimeter of this courtyard. And once again, just having a close look at these holes here, they do look to be all in an alignment when you look around the, the perimeter. So whether they were holes to, to have something like a shade, a piece of wood put in there with a shade, or an extension of some kind, it would be interesting to know. Off we go for my nemesis, the stairs. Okay. 
So these are those, some of those holes that you could see from the outside would be very symmetrical. But when you're on the inside of the building, some are quite low and some are quite high. So that's why with more research, I figured that they were actually Venturi airflow holes. So it didn't matter what direction the air was coming from, some air would be coming into the building. Coming into, because this is the second layer, I've walked up those stairs. So vaulted arches. Quite decorative spaces. So we're into this room, seeing these very intricate patterns going into this second room here. And you can see if I come square on to this hole, you can actually see nothing. So it's actually cut to an angle and the wind is blowing quite nicely. Another hole down the bottom there. Another, I'm standing square to the wall. And you can see directly through that window. So that one's square face on. And this one, if I move a little to the side here. Oh, I've got a pigeon. So that's why I suspect they're Venturi ventilation holes. I'm not sure if you can actually see my hair blowing because I'm standing in front of one of those angled windows. I'll just move away for a second and now you can see my hair is completely stationary. Let's do that again. That's why I think these are Venturi ventilation holes. When we were driving up towards this caravansiae, this could be an inn, it could be a way station, you could actually see it from about four or five kilometres away because other buildings that we've seen in Jordan have had been on the tops of hills and mountains, etc. This one is in the center of a plane, this very flat plane. So you can actually see it for quite a distance. Now the other reason why I suspect that there was a floor covering this courtyard area is because each one of these doorways, that you can see over there, a doorway, then you've got this line here where I suspect there would have been a floor because all of these doors would have walked out into a central space. So that's why I suspect that there is something very missing from this second floor, which would be a covering of that central courtyard. Whether it was a veranda, whether it was only a half section, and if it, you know, that corbel just there potentially supported a larger structure. Just continuing to walk along that second, the first floor. Saying hello to the residents.
room after room after room. Mm. That one has a niche. Could have been a fireplace. No flu. Yeah, because you're coming to these doorways and they wouldn't all be just opening onto a great chasm that you fall down. So that's why I suspect there was an additional floor. So I'm standing in a room and I have four windows. I have four windows. The two at the top are going straight ahead at 90 degrees. This one is going off at about 45, and that one's going off the other direction at 45. I stand square onto this one. You can't see it, but if I come over here, you can definitely feel the magnificent breeze coming through. Probably even try and demonstrate it again with my scarf. So what I'm doing is I'm just holding my scarf away from the opening. I'm about to move my scarf in front of the opening. Look at the velocity of that. <laughs> we'll move it away from the opening. Ventilation. Okie cokey. That's about the that layer. So let's head down the stairs. So that's our little look at Karana Castle, Caravansiae or Inn, on this plane heading over towards um, Saudi Arabia. So that would be um, northeast of Jordan. Northeast. So, so much to see here in Jordan. Come and visit me, <laughs> come and play with me, come and explore and see this amazing history. Stay safe, happy travels.